It's a difficult day. So we have to take the propeller off. It's raining. And now the water maker's not producing what it's supposed to. But the worst thing of all is what stuff I'm taking out there. Hello there, welcome to Sailing NV. We're a sailing family pursuing an unconventional dream of sailing around the world in our recently converted Ex Vonde Globe Open 66. <laughs> I'm Joe, this is Timo. Here is our two year old Captain Nemo and our adopted puppy Solo. After many incredible weeks exploring Vanuatu, an enchanting archipelago buried deep in the South Pacific. We found ourselves in Luganville, the country's second largest city, preparing for our next adventure, sailing to Indonesia through the Torres Strait, a passage of more than 2,000 nautical miles. Our journey with Envy began in New Zealand. Hey Tio, hey Huku, hey, hey Hua. Where after we bought her, we sailed her up to Fiji <laughs> for a two year refit, transforming her from an ex race boat to a comfortable family cruiser. Since relaunching, our ocean exploits have been relatively modest, with our passage from Fiji to Vanuatu covering just a fraction of the distance we were now facing through the Torres Strait, with its added challenges of shipping lanes and treacherous reefs. However, our well-laid plans were thrown into disarray when merely days before our intended departure, our engine refused to engage a head sail tour and our generator suddenly ceased functioning. We checked the gearbox oil and found it milky, meaning water had gotten in. So, after deploying a bouquet of balloons to keep our vessel buoyant, our big captain spent the little captain's birthday underwater taking the propeller off to check if a rope or fishing line or something had got caught and damaged the seal, leading to the ingress of water. Hello. Hello. What's, what are we doing again today? Preparing the torch that stops working <laughs> the moment before you jump in the water. You're going to take the propeller off again. But this time, we won't be doing it free diving. We've got our battery operated dive compressors. Thanks to the blue. Oh, <laughs> Any words? Yeah, I'm very angry. Angry? Pretty usual emotion for you, I suppose. Um, anything in particular you're angry with? Life? Solo, ma no, ma no, Joanna. Do it again, one job like this. <laughs> 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 Hello. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Luckily, our crew were able to see the funny side of things. We just don't don't attach it. <laughs> Where is the problem? <laughs> Damn, it's so weird. The tube is going in the wrong way. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, the water is very dry. Okay, the sail. The first step was to attach part of an old sail underneath the propeller in case we dropped anything. Okay, drop. Some of you might remember the video we made about the last time we had gearbox issues back in Fiji in which Timo managed to get the propeller on and off just by freediving. It was a million times easier this time thanks so much to Blue for our battery operated dive compressors. If you're interested to see more about these great pieces of equipment I'll put a link to an earlier video we made about them in the description as well as a link to their website. Birthday boys having a nap. Peace. 
But unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on your perspective, our morning of aquatic endeavours didn't uncover any lost treasures tangled in the propeller, meaning our next exciting task would be to crack open the gearbox from inside the boat. It's a difficult day. Yeah, Joanna, I'm in underwear for good It's a difficult day. So we have to take the propeller off. It's raining. And now the water maker's not producing what it's supposed to. But the worst thing of all is what's Stefan taking out there? Oh, taking it back. What's what's in that pot? Timo, you what, also what happened? Nobody has a corrupt to pasta, 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 pasta. All the pasta. The pasta has been has corrupted. Has got weevils in it. Yeah. Somebody Even the... corrupted the pasta. <laughs> Even the aricotti. Even the daddy Even what? Uh, aricotti. <laughs> <laughs> aricotti. Even the aricotti. Orecchiette. Orecchiette. <laughs> no, we are rovinati. But it's okay because it's your birthday. Where are you? Whose birthday is it? Who's birthday? You dropped your salad. Whose birthday is it? Where are you going? Oh, to see all your clothes. So having spent the morning underwater, Timo then swapped his snorkel for a screwdriver and spent the afternoon disassembling the water maker. More water maker problems. Two days before we want to leave. To reach our water maker, we have to squeeze into our super skinny stern. So we just measured it's producing, I did one and a half litres in five and a half minutes, which I think we said was something like 15 litres an hour. It's meant to be doing like 30. Sent me in the back to look for leaks. We have a spectral water maker which uses a special hydraulic pump called the Clark pump to reach the huge pressure needed to turn salt water into drinking water. You may remember we had water maker problems around a month ago and had already opened up the Clark pump in a previous video and found that the long brown piston rod was corroded on one side. So we'd ordered a new one and had it ready for this day which we knew would come. So here now, Timo is replacing this rod and the seals. Uh, no. 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 Put him back, it's very difficult. I remove like this, I have to remember. Okay, damage, clean. Now, how can I put, I don't know. Okay, now be careful. When I remove, this is the side. Okay, perfect, this is the side. And now I can put. This is a crazy. I have to watch again the video. But unfortunately, he ripped another seal, which we didn't have a replacement for in the process. The position I have to assume for go back mm. again is wrong. So, what did you do? I changed one seal original to the water maker with one old uh, used seal from the pump of the toilet. Oh, lovely. That sounds very hygienic. <laughs> did you wash it first? No, but if you put the, the juice on the water, you don't feel Was it a used? <laughs> <laughs> Was it a used seal? Yes. There is also some crusty. Hang on, but from the water, the pump coming the water in, not the pump getting the shit out. It's inside of the clap pump. Yeah, but it was from part of the toilet that 
took salt water into the toilet, not kind of the pump that took the, the crap out. No, it's the exactly the seat to the, the pump. No, yeah, the pump is the hand pump that um, pumps no, the, the pump water in. Suck the you sheet. The water. Yeah, no, it's not yeah. true. It's not true. <laughs> On boats, you often end up inventing unique solutions to problems using the materials you have on board. For this reason, sailors often store a lot of spare parts, even if they have no present use for them. In this case, the only seal we could find of a similar size was that from the pump of an old manual toilet, even though we don't actually even have that toilet pump on board anymore. It's a balloon party! <laughs> Unfortunately, Despite the replacement of the piston rod and o-rings, we didn't see an improvement in water pressure or production. 100. Now it's one, also less. Yeah, no pressure. Our next troubleshooting step involved checking for internal leaks in the Clark pump. We removed the plug at the test port on the back and observed a tiny leak emerging from inside the pump. So Timo removed the Clark pump once more for a deeper disassembly. The water uh, not contained, but just yeah, a little bit. Unfortunately, it seemed there was a tiny leak, so Timo had to take the Clark pump back out again for further disassembly. This uh, rod move left and right for inverse the pressure of the water from one side to the Clark pump to the opposite side, and these two cylinders and porcelain material. They are scratch on this side. You can see. Yeah, it was. Yeah. That lo There's a lot of scratches there. Scratches yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that doesn't look good. Can we stand that? Doesn't help. They say it doesn't help too much. You can try, but what they reckon is better to leave like this and replace all parts. These two cylinder plus this one. Okay. Like this, we already replaced the seal, blah, blah, blah. I request also if it's not better to buy one new club pump, but the price is 5,000 US dollars. This uh, elbow joint, uh, uh, where we connect the high pressure, they are in, pro in bronze, in spectra, and I saw another YouTube uh, tutorial, they, they explain uh, clearly that this is a special material, it, you can use it anything different because the stainless steel react bad with a different on temperature and blah blah. Yeah, yeah, but but uh, they produce a lot of oxide and that's yeah. oxide, explain now the technician, go inside directly from here, go inside yeah. there and if it's not uh, clean periodically because uh, this one, uh, one water maker have more to the 20 here, uh, never I managed to remove the scratch, it's so big. Uh. But you see, <laughs> It's deep. Not with the light, can we turn the light off? But no, you have to see with the light. Yeah, now I can see it. This one we keep it for the 21. When you're having 21, <laughs> do it again. If you enjoyed this video, we'd really appreciate it if you could like, comment, share it with your friends. And if you'd like to see more exclusive content from us, 
why not join our Patreon or Coffee community? I'll put the links in the description. Thank you. Doesn't get boring, does it? Everybody else.